Hello everyone, I am back with my f***ing nerd glasses spewing information to your earwax infested ears about more Tom and Jerry because f*** it. I love these two. I love most of their cartoons. I remember seeing every single Tom and Jerry cartoon ever on the two hour Tom and Jerry blocks on Boomerang and those like f***ing seven minute cartoon blocks on like Cartoon Network or something. I don't... I remember watching it on Boomerang, alright? I know I watched it on Cartoon Network a couple times, but like, it was mainly on Boomerang, alright? From the Hanna-Barbera cartoons to even film it. I watched all of it, but recently, well, not recently, it's only for the script. I observed that two Hanna-Barbera cartoons have vanished. I looked into it and discovered that Warner Brothers virtually wiped out two old titles forcing the Tom and Jerry Golden Collection Volume 2 to be delayed due to backlash of these cartoons being basically erased from existence. But why is this the case? Why was it about these two cartoons that made Warner Brothers blacklist them? Allow me to nerd out about how Warner Brothers blacklisted Casanova Cat and Mouse Cleaning and essentially wants them forgotten. But first, what are these cartoons? Casanova Cat was the 55th Tom and Jerry short film released on January 6, 1951, 72 years ago. Mouse Cleaning was the 38th Tom and Jerry short film released on December 11, 1948, 75 years ago. Casanova Cat was a basic Tom in love story we've seen a ton in this franchise. Tom trying to risk some pussy up while either using Jerry to his advantage and simultaneously Jerry being miserable or Jerry being a nuisance to pick at Tom because he's cringe and they scrap like they're in the bra. Oh yeah, and the one with Butch, but f you, Butch. Mouse cleaning is a basic I fucking despise you, Jerry, you mother short. Tom is tasked to keep the house clean while Nanny Two Shoes is gone. Easy, right? Just don't make a mess. Well, Jerry over here says it starts trashing the place like SpongeBob's pineapple in the episode Sentimental Sponge makes a mess and Tom is punished for it. Cool. Pretty harmless shorts on their own. Nothing too violent or just bad until you get to those infamous two scenes. Warning, this section is about to talk about racially outdated humor, specifically targeting the African American community. I do not support nor do I agree with genuine racism or prejudice of any kind. Race humor is funny to me though, like actually. I love the lyrical masterpiece, Illegals They're in My Yard. As a Mexican, a it brings tears creation. to my eyes. They're the scene that got Casanova Cat blacklisted was... That's just, that, that's just so wrong, dude. In this infamous scene, we see Tom blowing a cigar. In this infamous scene, we see Tom blowing cigar smoke into Jerry's face, turning his yellow bow tie to the front of his neck, heating up a plate and essentially forcing Jerry to do blackface tap dancing to chaotic music. This was considered peak comedy back in 1951, dog. The scene that got mouse cleaning banned was... Hey, you! Have you seen a no good cat around here? No, ma'am. I've seen no cat around here. Uh-uh. There ain't no cat, no place, no house. No, ma'am. Wow, dude. Just... In this very infamous scene, we have Tom emerging from a pile of coal in blackface. Nanny Two Shoes, thinking that Tom is a black man, asks Tom where he is so she can kick his ass for this, despite it not even being his fing And Tom, voiced by the late Jamaican Bahamian. Baha Bahamian. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. An American vaudeville comedian and film actor. Stefan Fetchit responds in a lie to try to get away from Nanny Two Shoes. I bet at the time it was cool to see such a prominent black individual in a big name cartoon at the time, but oh my god, is it clearly racist humor? The way Tom responds, his facial design and animation, 
The way he walks, it is clearly an African-American stereotype played for easy laughs that is morally wrong and unacceptable in today's modern and progressive society. I don't know why, I don't know why like, I wrote that. Like, I made it look like it was bad. No, I, I just sound bad. Casting of a cat's pretty funny. Mouse killing is good. I don't have that much to say about that. Jerry is such a f***ing prick, dude. <laughs> These two cartoons was prohibited from being released on DVD in the US by Warner Home Video. These cartoons are actually the reason why we didn't get a Tom and Jerry Golden Collection Volume 2. Because when TV shows on DVD.com reported on February 6, 2013 that these two remasters will not be in the set, fans f***ing went wild dude, causing the set to be delayed indefinitely. It was also not broadcast on a Cartoon Network or Boomerang due to racial stereotyping of African Americans. However, Casanova Cat did air on MeTV on May 1st, 2021, minus the blackface and with the Turner branding sensor. So, despite the fact that these cartoons were virtually banned, Warner Brothers remastered the episodes but only broadcasted Casanova Cat in a f 1080p print on me tv and will never release the official 1080p version of mouse cleaning that is peculiar it's sort of disappointing that no one caught that broadcast because the official casanova cat 1080p remaster is probably lost media because it's highly doubtful that warner brothers will ever allow that film to ever air again In case you are hunting for racist Tom and Jerry for some reason, here are some ways you can acquire yourself an official copy of Casanova Cat. One, you can get it on VHS from Tom and Jerry's Cartoon Cavalcade. Two, you can buy the Region 2 slash European version of the Tom and Jerry The Classic Collection DVD set. Three, buy an official film on eBay despite the fact that they are an 8 millimeter and 16 millimeter film but the absolute 100 percent best version of the film is through youtube user cartoon 98 100's patreon yeah i i'm not kidding cartoon 98 100 non-animation historian and john ackerman have worked together for quality with the best surviving with the best surviving print of the 35mm IB Tech safety film to exist. Yes, it's unofficial, but it is legitimately the only way to watch this cartoon. You gotta pay the price. Or, you can find it through... different means. If you want to nab yourself an official copy slash only available copies of Mouse Cleaning, here are the only options as of 2023. You can acquire the VHS, Tom and Jerry's 50th birthday class. Three, two. Tom and Jerry the Classic Collection Volume 2 in the Volume 1 through 6 box set. Region 2 DVDs only. Unfortunately, there is no public restoration online. You can AI upscale it using programs, but it isn't the same as authentic 1080p to 4K remasters. But, you know, it is an option, even though it's in 4x3 and not 137.1. Don't even. Don't even get me started on aspect ratios, dude. F*** it. Demo man voice. And those are the two Tom and Jerry cartoons that one of others wants it to forget about. I'm coming to the more gaming videos because I've walked to Don't worry, I'll be making more videos with these. They are dished, okay? You can subscribe and follow me on all the socials listed on screen.